Hey folks, this is Amy the Potter, uh, and I'm just strategizing my glazing this teapot. I'm just thinking, what do I want it to look like? What do I want to do with it? And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is glaze up to here, upside down, then do a little decoration here, and then glaze the bottom. And I may or may not wax over the decoration depending on what I do, but I just wanted to document it. So by doing it this way, I can, uh, first of all, I can, I can clean up to this line so I can make a really nice clean line. It's good to think about what you're doing before you do it. And so here I go, I'm gonna come down as close as I can to the level. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I glaze up to here so, and up to that line. And then what do I, what I do is I look at this and make sure it's flat. Okay, let's see how I did, pretty good. It's actually just about perfect. Um, this glaze likes a nice thick application, so I know I have a little bit of time when I'm doing that. And all I have to do is clean up a little bit right here. So let's see how I do that. These are the two tools I use for cleanup, and both work kind of the same. Um, I just kind of pick which one I want to use. And I'll use this palette knife. Just kind of give it a clean swipe here. I'm not getting anything I don't want on my pot. <laughs> Careful. Okay, so I'm just going to take my palette knife and uh, set it right against the line and just draw the line that I want. Okay, shake some of that off and then I can go back with the edge of the palette knife and scrape that. And get most of that just right back into the glaze. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Then I might have to go back and touch it up a little bit with a brush or um, bulb syringe. I'm also going to take this stuff out that's just sitting in there, doing nobody any good. The inside has already been glazed. Now, one nice thing that I can do, this is just the very beginning of me working with this glaze, is I can have just a little bit of water that's just dedicated for this glaze only. So now, whenever I'm rehydrating this glaze, because I will need to add some water to it at some point, I can just use that water. Um, okay, let me clean that all up, and then we'll touch up whatever I need to touch up. Okay. Tipping it away. Okay. That got a little bit thick right there. Just draw that up. Okay. That's pretty good. of visualizing polka dots and my decoration going between that spot right there. That's why I'm cleaning that up right now. Okay. Periwinkle, cream, mint green, and raspberry. I think that that's going to be a good combination. So I'm going to start here. This is something I've never done before. Okay. So let's start with cream. And we're just gonna imagine going cream. Mm. Something tells me just to do the whole thing cream, but I just feel like a little bit wild. So I'm gonna do cream and Periwinkle, and then mint. Let me make sure that they're in the right order. Cream, periwinkle, mint, and twilight. Okay, and 
what I want. Again. Cream. Periwinkle. Mint. Hi, Mint. And Twilight. Cream. <laughs> Periwinkle. Now I have to make a choice. Do I want to just have the band go there or do I want it to travel on the spout? And I'm going to say I just want it there. Uh-oh. I thought I was using periwinkle, I mean cream, but I was using raspberry. Okay. I left out some creams. Mm hmm. That was wrong. That was a mistake. That's cream. That's exactly why you want to <laughs> set it up. Okay, so cream, periwinkle, mint, and twilight. That twilight dot doesn't look good. Let's get a better one. Okay, and then that's supposed to be cream. Let's pop that off, that's raspberry. <sighs> Amazing that you can catch those things. And I'm gonna just stick that in here because I have this like little place that I need to um, patch right there. Add a little water. A little glaze grafting, call that. I call it. Okay, okay, and then one more right here, raspberry. Let's grab that one in there too. Perfect. It's like when the mistake is actually supportive. A little bit of water. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm patching this little area that missed some glaze. Okay, now let's clean off these mistake spots that were supposed to be clean. Okay. Fix those with the real cream. Okay. That was lucky. And I think that we decided, here wait, I also want to, this is it's like a little labor intensive, but I want them to be kind of perfect, <laughs> which is funny because I'm so not a perfectionist, but I don't like it. If there's something that bothers you about your pot, that means change it, you know? This one was the periwinkle and I just didn't, oh no, the twilight. I didn't like how it looked, that dot. It's a teapot. You might as well make them like, you know, as good as you can. Okay. Get this order reestablished here. Okay. For the other side. And I think I decided that I'm going to um, skip that. The, um, the spout. I'll glaze up to the spout. So here we go again, right here. Cream, periwinkle, mint, twilight, cream, periwinkle, mint, twilight, cream, periwinkle. And then I have to say, do I want it to be um, symmetrical or not? <laughs> I'm just going to say not. I'm going to do it like, okay, wait, let's fix this. This is another one of these little areas that needs fixing. Make sure that's the right glaze. Raspberry, yes. Get a little bit in there. This is why teapots cost so much. It's at least some of them. Okay, so we're just going back to cream here. Cream. Periwinkle. 
ankle. And the toilet. Periwinkle. And Twilight. The cool thing about these colors are this is a set that I developed. And the last one is cream. I like hadn't even thought about that until right now. But these are all um, a set of glazes. All four of these, Cream Periwinkle, Mint, and Twilight, <laughs> are a set of glazes that I developed from one of my base glazes. So they're new, and I'm really proud of them. So how fun that I'm using them all on this. I honestly didn't think about them. Okay, so we have Cream Periwinkle, Mint, Twilight, Cream. We're going to try to sneak under this handle here and see if we can keep it consistent. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Ah, I can't get it under there. So let's do something else. Oh, like, um, here we're on periwinkle here. I can just use a brush. Periwinkle on the brush. Steady, steady hand. Here we go. Periwinkle. Doing good. And then we're just going to do mint, and that's going to be it. Here comes mint. Tricky, tricky. And I'm going to put just a little bit of mint onto that brush. Mm -hmm, perfect. Okay, mint. A little bit wet. Okay, shoot. Uh-huh. Let's trust it's gonna be okay. Dry off the brush. Let's see here. Clean up that area. And it still looks pretty good. Looks like I got a real mint dot there. I'm gonna just do a little bit extra. Notice how I move away from being right over that bucket. Okay, here we go. Gotta be kind of quick because this glaze is easily dries. There we go. Mint. Wow, Amy, good job. Okay. So now the next thing is to let these dry and then wax over them and then glaze the bottom, which I will probably do also in the raspberry. So that's fun. I'm also gonna do the lid the same way. So here we go. Cream. <laughs> Periwinkle. I have to make this work when it comes to the end. Mint. And twilight. So I can kind of navigate this in that way because in, do it in quadrants, right? Cream. Periwinkle. Mint. This is so fun. <laughs> and twilight. Just doing something different, you know? I do polka dots all the time, but it's always the same color. Here we go. Cream. Periwinkle. Mm -hmm. Mint. Twilight. 
All right, getting close here. And then cream. I'm making my spots, my dots are getting smaller. Cream. Oops. Periwinkle. Two in there. And and twilight. See if I was more of a perfectionist, I would have like um mapped that out a little bit so it wouldn't look so kindergarten, but a, there's a little bit of kindergarten in every artist, right? <laughs> okay, yay, I think it's gonna be really fun. So I have to wax both of those. All right, so let's glaze or wax over these dots. I don't always wax everything. Um, it just depends. And these I will wax. So, centered. Stabilizing myself, exhaling, just watching my line. And I'll do that in both directions. So, wait a minute. So I'll get the negative spaces that are left by going over a dot. Okay, now this is gonna be the one that's a little bit trickier. Um, and what I'm gonna do is wax it upside down so any drips will just drip down onto the part I already glazed instead of onto the body of the teapot. So that's something, that's, that is something to do. Exhaling, and I'm my own banding wheel here. I can't put this down on top of anything, so. And I can just wax right over this glaze too. I'm gonna wax right up to this spout here. And just make sure I have that first dot covered. Because if I miss it, it will run into the glaze and backwards the other way. Okay, that side looks good. Don't turn it upside down because that wax will drip. <laughs> Let me sneak under, whoopsie, under here and get that one, okay. And now I have to move this in my hand. Okay. And again, from this side, exhaling. And being a little bit careful around the spout here. Not sure what that is, but sometimes it's just clear glaze and it wouldn't matter. Okay, so let me see here. And getting this just right up to the spout, exhaling, picking up my line, just right to the spout, and I'll curl down and there. Okay, and then reverse over the dots just to catch the negative space and pop the wax bubbles. Okay, now let me take a good look at it. Okay, and make sure I got under there. Okay, and brush away some of this excess wax. Okay, looks like I got it. Okay, great. And when I glaze the bottom, I'll be able to see if um, any of the wax, any of the glaze dots uh, touch, and I'll be able to separate it with a pin tool. All right, the teapot is, or the wax is dry, I think, dry enough. And I'm gonna glaze the rest of this teapot. So just let me see if you can see it.
exhaling. I'm going to get the whole spout and out. shake it out. Okay. It's a little of a chunky glaze. Find my and try to get some of that glaze to go right back in the bucket. Oopsie, this glaze loves a thick application, so it is waxed, but it just sticks there. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Put this in here, stabilize that. Wonderful water. All right. Just getting into the little areas here, and then I'll go back with the sponge. It's always good to have a little bit of method and a little bit of kind of intuition in the moment. At least for me, that's how I like to work. Some combination of I know exactly what I'm doing and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Yay. I think that that's pretty good. Okay, I'll go back a little bit later and shave off some of these bumps. But for now, let's go ahead and dip this. I can hang on to this part because this is all waxed, so I'm just gonna go in and out and then clean out that hole. Uh, one little tip, little trick, uh, would be to just put a little water in that hole before I glaze it, and that little bit of water will help that area not absorb as much glaze. So let's go this way. And out. Shake, shake, shake. <sighs> blow, blow, blow. Touch, touch, touch. Nothing scary in this glaze. Um, I don't feel comfortable working with gloves on. I know some people prefer it. Maybe I should. And all of this glaze is either going straight back into the bucket or into this little bucket of raspberry glaze water. So it's a great new innovation for me is different water bucket for each glaze. I have like 30 of them, but so I would only do it for my main glazes. I'm not gonna have 30 water buckets, but for the main ones. Oh, there's a little bit mist in here. I'll have to touch that up. That's okay. That's all right. Let's do that. Here we go. A thick stuff right there. It's like a cleaning project at the same time as a fixing project. Isn't that cool? Oh, and then we have to poke the hole again. I forgot about the hole, but it's totally gone. So much for it not absorbing the glaze. I guess I didn't use enough water. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. This will work like a charm. Porcupine quill or pin tool would be fine too. This is just what I came upon first. And that's that you know, combination of, I don't know what I'm doing and I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, here's a porcupine quill. I could use that. Okay, so just a little bit more touching up here. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, look it over. It's easy to not look it over. All right, and I'll just put this on the side so I can just take one more look at it. Make sure it's dry enough to sit down. So I can take one more look at it when I clean everything up. I like it to dry a little bit. All right.